Greetings and salutations all, Dustin Decker of Maslow's Basement, not coming to you from Casa de la Maslow Studios, but from the Dwight Eisenhower VA domiciliary in Leavenworth, Kansas. All right, now I don't wanna be the guy that just jumps out and says, hey, shims are bullshit, because they're not. There are a lot of genuine reasons why an actual luthier would put shims underneath a bridge on an acoustic guitar. I do not count myself as a luthier. I happen to be a guitar player who wrenches his own gear. But there's really no good reason to have three big chunks of a credit card like that underneath the bridge, making it tilt 10 or 15 degrees forward and refuse to stay in tune and jack the action crazy, crazy high. So I just removed all that, put new strings on this, didn't even have to turn the neck. Imagine that, from the factory, this guitar, made in Indonesia, I think, yes, was perfectly set up and it sounds fine. The action's good, it's not buzzing. We just don't need all that extra crap. So if you don't know what you're doing, for God's sake, take it to someone who does. I'm not talking about me, but you know, go pay 50, 100 bucks, have an actual luthier set up your guitar for you. If it's a really nice guitar, i.e. you spent $750 or more for it, find somebody with a Plex system, like uh, over in Lawrence, Kansas, Mass Street Music, have them run the whole Plex on it. It's gonna come out gorgeous, it's worth the money, trust me. But please, don't do this shit.